Welcome to the Big Bear Homestead, and today is episode number 12 in our Sustainable Living series. So today, we're going to make self-watering containers. that you're trying to root you can use this for because this soil will stay moist okay so how do you make it okay so before we dive in on how to make it what material do you need in order to make it well you need a clean two liter bottle Some type of planting matter, we're going to use compost. A knife, scissors, yarn, and a sharpie. Then you're going to need something to plant. So we are going to use our some seeds from our bell peppers in this last seed. So how do we make it? Okay, so the first thing you do is you grab your two liter bottle and your Sharpie. Okay, in that area, you know, where they put their label, where it says Coke, Pepsi, I'm extremely overrun with high fructose corn syrup. Go below that, take your Sharpie, <clears throat> okay, go ahead, and draw you a line as straight as you can right below that and go all the way around the bottom okay then in that bottle part where you draw down down here on this bottle I believe you want to draw yourself a nice little square Okay. You want to make that square big enough so that you can pour water into it. Maybe big enough that you can slip a funnel in there. That way you can pour water to it. That way you don't have to constantly try to pick this, pick this up to bring water. You'll have a window right here that you can put a funnel in and pour the water in. All right, once you've got that drawn, put your cat back on the Sharpie because you don't want it to dry out and your wife throat punch you. Not that I'm speaking from any experience or anything. Oh, and you gotta make sure you hear it click when you put it on because if it doesn't click, then it's not fully on. And if it's not fully on, it can still dry out and you can still get throat punched. Just saying. Very hard lesson to learn the first couple of years of marriage. But anyway, take your knife, try to get as close to your line, on your line, and you got to ooga booga it, meaning you've got to stab it. Okay? And try to get as close to the line as can you can to just get you. can put your scissors in there. Put your scissors in there and then follow your line around. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. Okay? Boom. Boom. Now it'll sit in there. Okay? <clears throat> now, here comes the fun part. 
Come down to the lower spot where you want your square. Probably would have been better to do the square first than men, but hey, it doesn't really matter. Just be careful. We are men. We have drills. And then just cut out your square. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. You just want a flappy flap right here. So you can Got enough space now to stick a funnel in there and pour the water in. Okay? Now, your next step is to take your cap off the bottom. And you're going to want to, in the very center of this cap, you're going to want to drill a hole. Okay, once you drill your hole, you want to, I've got water here on my table that was from the inside of the bottle. You kind of want to wet the tip of your yarn a little bit. I mean, I wasn't going to go all out and just put them on video, but you can do that too. Twist it up a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Now, you need to feed this through about halfway. Okay, you want to have it even on both sides like that. Okay, because you want a decent amount to be able to be down in the water like such. Matter of fact, you can probably go a little bit more than halfway. Something like that. You can take it, <clears throat> feed this end back up in the bottle. Now some people will tie a knot here, but I mean that's completely up to you. <clears throat> Keep the string up like that. Place it down in there. Make sure you got enough that's down and in there and soaking real well. Okay? Pull up just a little bit more. Blam up. Now, you add your planting matter in here, but keep in mind you want to try to keep this up and let the dirt let this go all the way up through the levels of the dirt. Okay? Do your best not to get dirt on the wife's kitchen table because that would be bad. That would be a throat punch, guaranteed. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this up with plant matter or with planting matter, and we will be right back. Okay, so we've got our self-watering container filled up with our planting matter. Now we'll take our little. <clears throat> watering square right there. We'll take a bottle of water or a funnel, depends on you, and just pour the water in. Now, what makes this work is that your um, yarn draws up the water up into the soil. Now, I would not fill it all the way up to your window. I would stop about halfway. Um, as you notice, even the tip of this 
upper section is down in the water and as this soil begins to, to need more water it will like a straw that's a technical term it's a technical term okay so remember that write it down there will be a quiz is the term and it'll just suck it up and keep that moist that's why when you you have your yarn up here and you're adding your planting matter it's important add a little bit add a little bit and just basically walk your yarn back down that way it's in different stages throughout your planting bowl here okay and then you just make yourself your little hole take you whatever it is you're going to plant in this case we're going to take some bell pepper seeds and we're going to plant them Make sure they get the accurate, ac the accurate amount of light they need and the temperature they need, and you should be good as gold. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you guys maybe some ideas for some science projects with homeschool, um, a way to help you out if you're trying to propagate something, if you're taking cuttings and propagating it. Um, I hope you guys just really found this very useful. Well, thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead, and like always, have a nice day. Okay, so let's get started. Grab your two liter bottle and your Sharpie. Okay, you know that area where they put their label, where they got the big label that says Coke, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, I'm high in corn fructose syrup, high fructose corn syrup, yellow number five, I'll kill you slowly with pants, you know, you get the point. Okay, <clears throat> come down below that area because they've got it in Denton, in Denton. Would that be Texas or North Carolina? <laughs> You're literally a squirrel. <laughs> I just went across the top. So it's not like you're just saying. Can't see it. Look, look at me. Look at me. I'm a squirrel. <laughs> oh, 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 right along the branch there. Woo, woo. Get out of here before I pull out the shotgun. <laughs> Them crazy people eat us. <laughs> Alright. So first thing you do is grab your two liter bottle. And your Sharpie. Okay, you know that area where they put their label? Coke, Pepsi, I'm high in... Um... <laughs> high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup. Alright, the first thing you need to do is grab your two liter bottle <coughs> and your Sharpie. Now, you know the area where they usually put their label where it says Coke, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, high, I'm very high in uh, high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup, that was the word. It was it was there. It was it was kind of back here. But I was going high fructose corn syrup. It wouldn't come out there. Right okay the things that you need in order to make this we went over so let's make it because I've already messed up this clip have a nice day <laughs> his brother it's <laughs> funny how many times do you actually get a score Come in and completely throw you off your chain of thought. I mean, it's actually a real life squirrel. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Well, if a third one comes, we're cutting it and I'm getting a shotgun. That's all I'm saying. Ready? Go. Hi.
Welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. <laughs> <laughs> I got a case of the giggles. <laughs> Freaking squirrels. <coughs> Is there another squirrel? No, I, my brain, brain just went blank and I'm like, I need coffee. Mom took the thing to make coffee. She took the what? She took the K-cup. Why? Because apparently the lady that brings their little Keurig things has been sick and so they don't have any coffee at the office so she took our coffee cup thing and a Ziploc baggie of coffee to work. She is such an evil woman. I mean, technically I could boil you some water, put no, it in a pot, use no, the tea thing. And no, look at that woodpecker. Flip the camera around. Never